Okay, this is a, a little instruction on how to uh, register a, uh, your original work on www.copyright.gov. You first, you want to go there and uh, read everything you need to. You can learn everything you need to know here uh, on this page. Um, but what we're going to talk about right now is uh, uh, registering a work right here. How to register a work. You're going to go to the ECO login. Uh, you can read about the, their security and the privacy that you are um, uh, assured here on this site. Uh, click on continue to ECO. When you get to this page, you are going to be asked to register. If you are a new user, click here to register. You'll be taken to a page where you will put in all your pertinent information. All right. Once you do that, you'll re return to this page and you'll put in your user ID and password, the ones that you created. Okay, once you've logged in, you will come to this page. Um, this is the, your home page. You'll look like my name is Thomas, so it's welcoming me. Um, you'll need to do, disable your browser's pop-up blocker because uh, it, it'll like be very annoying when uh, for, for your security features from your computer to keep asking you if you want to do a certain button or press a certain button. And anyway. There you go. What you're going to do, you will uh, register a new claim. You come right over here to the copyright registration. You're going to click on register a new claim. Uh, this will tell you what you need to do. First, you're going to complete the application. Once you get that completely done, you'll make the payment. Uh, I don't know if they, if they receive, um, uh, I don't know if they'll receive PayPal, but I do know that they, re they receive any uh, credit cards, which is most likely that way you'll be paying. After you have completed that and your credit card has been processed, it will bring you to a place where you can upload your work, whether it be a, uh, a document or an audio file. Okay? Now, uh, you can just click Start Registration. Click there. Uh, it will ask you what is the type of work. You come right down here to the type of work. It is a sound recording. That will fill right here. You click Continue. It will bring up the next step. Right now it's registering all of that. You're going to go here, the titles. Uh, you're going to say it is a new title. So you will click new. And um, the title of the work, title of the work being registered. So if you have a song, you'll put the, ti the title of your song. If it is pre-existing material, you will use uh, uh, the previous or the alter the previous title or alternative title of uh, of that piece. But let's, for the sake of saying it's a uh, uh, you're re registering a brand new piece, we're going to call it the title of the work being registered. And just for the heck of it, let's call uh, call it this new song is the title of the song. Okay, you hit save. Very simple. Uh, you will go uh, to continue once you see that right in here. The title of the work has been uh, put into the correct field. And the type of work is it's the title of the work being registered over here. You will continue. You will keep doing all of this um, until you have, you have completed all these check marks. All right. Uh, has this work been published in this particular field right here? Has the work ever been published? And if it's brand new, of course, it's going to be no. So this work says, has the work been published? It is no. The year of completion. Let's say I, I finished it this year. You put in the year of the completion. Just like that. If you've pre-registered it, uh, which you, if you may have, you'll need to put your pre-registration number in here. Okay. This is in here. Uh, you will continue. It will move you on to the authors. You will choose the if you already have your account here, you just click Add Me. So I have my, uh, since I'm, I'm already registered, you just can put Add Me. And you'll see that this is your author, individual author. This is me, Thomas Leslie. Don't make fun of my middle name, please. Uh, your citizenship is United States. Uh, domicile is United States. You would put the year of birth if you needed to. These are not required. The ones that are required are with asterisks, okay? Now, is this author's contribution 
uh, a work that was made for hire, meaning did someone hire you to, to make this work or is it all your original? You put, uh, I'm gonna say no, because I, I compose it myself. Here's the year of my birth. You gotta put this in, by the way. The year of my birth is uh, 1963. And there is no year of death. But you won't need any of this unless it was a pre uh, if there's a pre-existing uh, uh, work. If someone else owned it first, you need to put the, the original owner of this, whoever created it, you need to put their, the, the year of their death in here, okay? Uh, let's see here. We're let's go ahead and hit the save, that right there. Now, you, are, you created the sound recording. If it's you singing, you'll also put, yes, I did the performance on this. I wrote the lyrics. I wrote the music. And the production for this particular piece, I did that as well. You will click only, only the things that you have made uh, that was your uh, contribution. If somebody else, um, if you went to a recording studio and they actually did the production, recording stuff of that sort, you leave that blank. Uh, if you had someone sing the piece for you, someone else sang it for you on this recording, leave that blank, okay? Okay, so right here, you'll just, uh, if there's anything else that uh, you created, on a, uh, you'll just put it right in here. Uh, you'll save, and you will, uh, if there's anybody else that helped you with this piece and the authors, you'll click new here and put their information in. You'll continue to the next place. The claimants. Do you have any other, this will tell you, you know, uh, you, by clicking on any of these, uh, these uh, links, if you have any questions at all about what this all means, just click on these, it'll tell you. But uh, since uh, I've done everything there is to this song, it's all completely uh, original, I'm going to click Add Me. It will give me uh, this page. All uh, my information is already in here. Um, the, you, you don't need to put an organization in here. All right, uh, let's see here. There's no other uh, tra uh, 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 There's no other claimant, so you don't need to fill this out. I would just hit save, and then uh, you notice that my name is here. All my information is here. You will continue to the next place. You will do this until you get to 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 the very very end. You'll, and you will you will re, uh, review all of it. You can just pretty much skip this if you've written everything. It's all 100% yours. Click continue. The rights and, per and permissions. Uh, you want to go up here to add me. If you are the one who uh, wrote all of this, uh, if you are the one that are going to be contacting regarding this registration of this particular piece, just click add me, and there you go. It automatically fills in. Now you'll hit continue. Okay, the correspondent. You will send this uh, to yourself. All right, you can uh, just click add me again. This is the uh, person. Uh, that the copyright office will contact if it has any questions about the application. All right, and that's going to be you because you are the owner of the uh, copyright. You will hit continue after you have filled that out. They will mail you the certificate. All right, you will just add me. Now, if you want to have this sent to your agent, if you want this to be sent to Pamela, you will put Pamela's name in here and she can keep it on file for you. If you do uh, send it to, to Pamela, Actually, don't fill this out. You want to fill out the organization. Well, fill this out in the organization name, which is uh, uh, Next Level Showcase. Okay, uh, I'm just going to put Add Me. There it goes. Uh, for the sake of you guys learning this. Uh, all right, in this special handling section, you don't want to uh, fill any of this out if you are the original. Uh, uh, Composer, if this is all your piece, you don't need to fill out any of this. So don't check any of these boxes, okay? This is only for uh, if you're applying for special handling of this particular uh, registration. Just skip this section, press continue. All right, the certification, you will click here. I certify that I am the author, the copyright claimant, or owner of exclusive rights for this piece, all right? You will... Uh, uh, put your name in there. Uh, 
once you have done that, name of certifying individual, Thomas L. Garber. Uh, once you, I've, I've got that completed, you're going to press continue. You will review this, make sure that all of these, let me move this over so you can see it. You can make certain that each of these things are correct. All right, title of the work. This is, these are all the fields that you just went through, filling all of this out, okay? Tells you all about uh, what your uh, limitations are, everything that you, everything you filled out is should be in the, all, all of these sections. Make certain that you Go through all of that. If there's any changes that you, if you see something that you said, oh, wait, I've done something wrong, go back over here and click on the back button until you get back to any of these over here, okay? Okay. What you will do then is you will click Add to Cart right up here. That will add you to a cart just like that. And uh, this, it shows all your information here. You're going to pay for it. Once you pay for this, you just click on checkout. Uh, you see that the sound recording, there is a fee of $35. $35 is due. When you, and that is for any uh, sound recording. Um, you can actually submit, um, uh, uh, I guess you, you can actually submit, I think there's somewhere where you can like submit several at a time. It would be a compilation, but for the sake of this right now, for my one song that I've written, uh, it's going to be $35 for this particular sound recording. All right. Uh, I will go to checkout, and uh, uh, I would pay by credit card right here. Okay. Right there. I would click on here, and it would send me to the uh, credit card information. Do you wish to proceed? You are now going to leave this uh, particular uh, 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 site because you're going to go uh, uh, to pay.gov right here. If you see there's pay.gov right there, that's all you'll be taken. It's part of the U.S. Treasury, which is very cool. It's very safe. It says the copy. Also, it says here, you know, the copyright office does not receive or hold any credit card information submitted to pay.gov. After you've completed the payment, you'll be returned to this site, and you'll be taken right over. You'll, you'll come back to this page or something like this page, and it will say right here, you'll submit your work. You'll just click on that, submit your work, and that would be. Um, that, that where you would just uh, uh, upload the file, the audio file you have created, and then you'll be done. And then in a week or so to a few weeks, um, a month, I, I don't know. All I know is uh, you will receive in the mail. Uh, oh, oh, by the way, you can also do it this way. You uh, can uh, do it with a, a, a check for your bank as well. You got your bank routing number, all of that stuff. Okay, you can go here. You, you can use a personal checking, or you can go right down here to uh, uh, here with uh, your, your credit card, credit card information, or your personal check. I forgot, I forgot you can do it that way. Once you are done and filling all of that out, you will be taken back, as I said, to the page where you can upload uh, the, the work that you are registering. And that is how it's done.